Hi everyone and happy Monday! We have a unicorn picture today. This is from Enchanted Forest. Um, obviously we got the planner from Johanna Basford today and as I say Enchanted Forest. I was trying to sort of wonder what to do with this one and what pencil so I grabbed these for change. These are the, sorry for the light, um, there we go. The um, Castle Arts 48 um, metallic pencils. Um, if you don't have the castles, I have actually done a comparison swap to start with these and another set of pencils, I can't remember which, so you can sort of match colours if you want to. Um, I've also done a comparison with these and the Brute Funa metallics. Now, I had thought about using those, <clears throat> but I decided to use these for two reasons. Firstly, because... Um, um, because, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got that comparison swatch chart which could be helpful. But also, um, well that was the main reason actually. Um, now if you don't have these and you're interested in buying them, if you look at my um, description, oops, I'm taking them all out of the box, there's only two layers. Um, if you look at my description, you will see a code to buy the, um, some links, my affiliate links to buy them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. Um, these are ones. The ones for Castle, you can might be able to get a discount, and the other ones for Amazon. Compare the prices first, though, if you are buying. Um, the Castle one, if you are a UK buyer, you get twenty percent discount, and I think that applies for every purchase. But I'm not entirely sure. With the US one, it is a one-time only use, twenty percent off. So if you've used a code from me before, you won't be able to use it again. I don't know why it's different for the UK or US, or whether in fact maybe it isn't different and it's not clearly set out in their terms. I can't be sure. Right now, what colour is a unicorn? Is my next thought. I think I am going to go for a sort of mauvey colour. So I'm going to grab this. This is the iris purple. Okay. And I'm going to do the main part, the whole unicorn, in a lightish layer of iris iris purple to start with. And then we're going to grab a slightly darker purple to do a few details, maybe some shadows and things like that. We might have to use a darker colour than the dark purple. We'll experiment with it once we're done. But really we're just doing a layer of light purple so if you don't have your metallics you could use any light um, violety color um, if you're using polychromos just grab the violet if you're using castles i'm sure there's a light um, i can't remember whether the lavender is more of a pinky color or not <clears throat> excuse me or whether it's the mauve um, then in prismacolor there is a is it the amethyst or the palmer violet would also work? That sort of thing. Um, I'm going over this bit of fur here um, because it's really small. Um, I will probably go over it again with something else later, but um, it's just easier to go over it right now. <clears throat> and uh, yes, yeah, so any pencil set really, a light bluey purple. So. If you're looking at your purples, don't go for your pinky purples. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a more bluey purple shade. And uh, as I say, try and do just a lightish layer. I'm trying to even it out. It's a bit messy, but uh, we'll get there. So I hope you're all doing well on this Monday morning. It is not Monday morning here at all. It is Friday afternoon. <laughs> it is coming to the end of Wimbledon. Um, there is there are matches on right now, but I thought I would come and do a bit of recording because um, I'm getting a little behind and um, I've got a few things going on next week and the week after, so I need to uh, sort of get ahead of the game a little bit. Um, I was um, wanting to do some colouring, so I thought I might as well come through and do it with you. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Also, the matches that I want to watch are long. They don't... The, Ones I want to watch haven't started yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the other one I'm doing the same. Now you don't have to do both your unicorns the same. Um, I like doing these sorts of pages symmetrically. Don't have to at all. Um, if I was going to do it a different colour, I would do it with a sort of light pink um, on its base and sort of darken up 
the areas with the darker pink as you'll see me do with the purple later um, that's how I would do it but um, obviously it's up to you <clears throat> I've got a bit of a horse I haven't long had lunch I think that's part of the problem but uh, anyway hope everyone's doing well um, I'm just um, making a compilation video there's going to be quite a few compilation videos um, for you guys um, this week no no it would have been last week you would have had them last week sorry I'm getting myself in a muddle yeah I was sort of experimenting partly because I didn't have a lot of time to make videos and partly just to see what people thought and to show you what you get as a member members get lots of compilation videos and these particular ones members have had partly so what they are is they're basically double pages with little bits which have already been made into a compilation um, such as um, <coughs> excuse me um, such as um, uh, double page in Worlds of Wonder and I have uh, already made a compilation video for members but I've basically got some software that's a bit faster at exporting so I put it into that and, and put both pages into one so they had a compilation for the left hand page and a compilation for the right hand page and what I've done is I've popped them together I'm going to grab the violet sapphire now it's a darker violet colour and we're going to pick out some details with this give it a sharpen now I've got a choice with this I can either do some shading so look at where I might think there might be shadows or I can go over some of these marks that Johanna's drawn on what I'm going to do is the shading option so I'll show you so under the, at the bottom of the head here I feel like there would be shadow so we're going to do that a little bit darker and then just gently taper it off and sort of fade it a bit like that same inside the ear here that would be darker because my computer is making such a noise at exporting the huge video that I can hear it through the wall I think that's what it is I can hear anyway the fan makes such a noise a bit here where these where the legs are overlapping there'd be some shadow there I'm gonna do one and then I'm just going to copy it onto the other one, okay. It's a bit of an odd light up today. But anyway, hopefully you'll be able to see okay. A bit on the edge of this one. And at the bottom. More shadow is going to occur at the bottom. Or underneath. In fact, Johanna's drawn some shadowy some sort of dots down here as if they're shadow. I'm going to take that off quite a bit. <clears throat> it's quite oh, interesting. I had a hospital appointment, just a routine appointment with my son this morning and uh, um, saw my parents in the hospital. I didn't realise my dad had an appointment today as well. He was having a little bit of a procedure, nothing too major. Um, it was a test but a bit more invasive um, and uh, I, I was sort of quite glad that we saw them, hopefully that I was chattering away to him. Might make him feel a little bit less worried about what was to come, you know, it's distracting, isn't it? Not to sort of think about it too much, because it's not particularly pleasant what he's having to have done, but he, what they're doing, I'm not going to go into detail, but basically they're doing a test to find out whether he um, can get away with having a certain type of medication or whether he'll have to have an operation obviously it's worth going through the test because if it means he doesn't have to have the operation which he really doesn't want to have he's had it before um, and he knows that it's not particularly nice he doesn't really want it again but he his symptoms aren't good so nothing life-threatening just uncomfortable they're not so it affects his life but it doesn't you know so uh, yeah I don't think I did this bit on the other side. Oh, I did. Um, so he's sort of hoping that he can get some help, which of course we all are too. So that's good. Anyway, he's got quite a common, what he's got is quite common and it isn't anything, as I say, life threatening. But same as my son, really. What he's got is reasonably common. It isn't 
he has to take meds and uh, we're just sort of reviewing them. So <clears throat> again nothing too serious <clears throat> really, it's just inconvenient. But he's got a lovely nurse that looks after him. So that was all good so we did that this morning and husband was available. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil and put a little bit of shadow underneath the mane. So under here the sun is shining. I don't know if it's going to disturb the video. But just a bit under here. And then we've got these bits which I'm just going to put a bit around. <coughs> See, so yeah, I've been busy making swatch charts, which you would have I put already and put them, made them all available. Um, I made one for the new Harmonious Pencil Set, and then someone asked me if I could make one in order with the Castle Art Soft Touch, Harmonious and Pastel Tint all together so you could see, you know, what sort of a range of colour you get. Which was, I thought, oh, I thought that sounds like a lot of fun. I was completely intrigued as to what it might look like. But boy, was it hard work. <laughs> right, we're going back to the iris purple now. And I'm going to fill in um, some of the details. So here on this leg, where we've made it darker at the back and underneath, I'm basically going to go over it a lot more. And then just fade down towards the edge a bit. Like that. I basically want a much thicker layer of pencil. So yes, yeah, so I did that. That was a mammoth because if you think the soft touch is 120, 76 and a harmonious and um, 48 pastel tints, that's a lot of pencils to swatch. And of course I did the chart, guessed the order, swatched them then mixed it all about until I was happy and then did it again. I mean, I wasn't 100% happy. I never am. I was thinking, well, maybe I should move that to that. And then I'm like, but then that won't make sense and that one won't. Should I do it? Should I? You know, it's always quite a tricky <clears throat> process, but I've got it to a place where I think it makes the most sense. So hopefully that will be useful, um, both to the person who asked and maybe to other people too. Um, I have had a lot of questions about when the whether it, the harmonious pencils are coming to Amazon. They absolutely are. Um, I spoke to customer services. Well, I messaged customer services. This they're coming on the twenty seventh. I'm just checking the day of this. Yes, so not yet. Um, um, so they will be coming to Amazon. So those of you who are in regions that castle doesn't distribute to you might be able to get them then from amazon if if you've been waiting um i will share the links as soon as i find them i'll share them on my socials and on my um um what's it called community tab on here as well so that they're available for you as soon as i spot them i do look every so often just in case they appear early because you know you never know with these things whether they might just pop up a little bit early because what I assume has to happen is that Castle has to send a stock of pencils to their to the Amazon distribution centres so that they can then pack them off and send them because um, when you sell on Amazon these days most items you're not allowed to sell from your house you have to send rent a shelf from Amazon and then they um, send them off for you which is quite irritating means you can't just buy and sell anything so you can see the difference between the two horses I am quite worried about the fact that this is looking so glary if I do that does it reduce a bit I don't know it doesn't really how close do I have to get we can see it so you can see the shadow under here the shadow around there sort of shadow under the tummy and behind there, under there, and around under the mane. That's how I coloured it. Um, let's do this one so you can see. I'm sorry I'm so far out. I don't know. I was hoping that you'd just be able to see all of it, but it just... The light in here is just not quite right today. I 
think it's because it's bright and sunny but the sun isn't on the desk. It's confusing the camera a little bit. Put my lamp on that didn't seem to make a type any difference at all. So you see these areas that I did in a darker pencil I'm just going over and then just trying to sort of blend them out a little bit. So say here on the bottom just going over here a bit and then just sort of blending out to the edge and this gives us a second layer of our iris purple as well which just helps it to be a little bit more vibrant and covers any areas that you might have missed and you can use it to neaten up as well. <clears throat> Now, I was doing a picture the other day of dragons. This was from Ivy. The three dragons were in the picture. I don't know if you're familiar with the book. But um, I said to my son, what colour are dragons? He used to like dragons as a kid. He know, I always quiz him about what colour dragons are. Usually he says, oh, whatever colour you want them to be. you know. But he, he was a bit more useful. He said pink. So I did all the dragons pink, each one slightly different pinks, which was a really interesting challenge for me, Mrs. Pink Hater. <laughs> not that bad, but I'm not a big pink fan. Um, so I used the sort of carmines for one of them, and then one of them, the sort of fuchsia and pink madder lake. This was some um, polychromos, by the way. And then the other one I used magenta and light magenta. I think that's right. No, I don't think I... No, I didn't use the carmines. I'm lying. I used um, the um, the sort of handful of others, like the crimson and the middle purple pink and those sorts of colours. <clears throat> right, I'm just sort of going to go over this a little bit and just tidy it up. And I think I'm nearly there. This is space. I coloured this space without you seeing it. I'm really sorry. So... I do want to come out though so you can see them both. Maybe the camera will work better like that. There we go. So there they are, but we haven't got done their names. Um I'm just looking, we the amethyst is a little bit darker. I think I might just use it in a couple of spots. Here we go. Amethyst. I'm wondering whether to colour over these light. I think I might. Where Johanna's sort of done like, mm, I've got a bit around here. And this bit. I don't want to do it too hard. Just to acknowledge her shapes. And I think it might just add a little bit of interest into our picture. Yeah, I think that would be better. But you don't have to do this bit if you prefer it, just looking more sort of realistic. But I sort of think it looks old unless I was going to um um <clears throat> unless I was going to actually white out those lines. Otherwise it just looks old. Hmm, I think maybe this bit too. Oh, we've got a bit on these back legs and the front legs. There we go. So I hope everyone's good today. Having a good Monday. Or it might have just begun, maybe. And I hope everyone has a really good week. I sort of don't really think about days individually, if that makes sense. I on a, my husband's home from work, mon, um, Friday to Monday, inclusive, and uh, but I tend to do bits and bobs every day, so uh, it doesn't really make a difference to me whether it's weekend or weekday, apart from the fact that he's home on some of them. Um, once the boys start back at uni, that will make a difference because they'll be in and out. You know, so uh, that's something. But um, <clears throat> we 
Kellem. We'll see how uh, how it all goes once they get back to it. But it's a little a long way to go, a long time to go yet. One of my sons spends most of his time in his room um, doing his uh, Minecrafty stuff. I'm trying to look for the black. There it is. Mythos black. I'm going to do the eyeball of each one. And then the hooves. I'm going to fade these up thinking that they might be a bit lighter towards the top. And this picture colored this picture so many times and I can't remember what colors I use for it ever because <laughs> I've done two copies of Enchanted Forest and um, <clears throat> excuse me and the miniature Enchanted Forest as well I know the miniature one was really quite tough when it came to this really tricky because everything's so small it was a sweet book though and I wonder if it gave Johanna the idea to do um, Small Victories, which is a really good book. really like it. Okay, so now we have main tail and all the sort of tufts. And I'm thinking a sort of purple, but a, a pinky purple. We have a colour called Magnetic Mauve, which I think would be good. I'm going to try and find it. I think that's it. Yeah, there it is. Give it a sharpen. We are. I'm going to start on the fiddliest bits. It looks like it's going to rain again after all that sunshine I just had. We zoomed out enough, yeah. I'm sorry it was so glary at the beginning. I think sometimes the camera gets a bit, um, well, because the sun was shining on it, it got itself a bit upset. There we go. Oh, we've got these as well. Just blocking these in really could make the tops and tips a bit darker to give them a sort of shiny look but I'm finding them a little bit small so I'm just gonna fill them all in yeah what have I got going on I'm just trying to think I need to organize myself and my brain well it's my husband's birthday coming up on Sunday the 14th so thinking maybe I should get all the cleaning and um, washing and everything we've done on the 13th so I'm not doing it on his birthday I'm not sure I need to talk to him about that um, which would be a busy day tomorrow then hmm. just got to do shopping as well but I could send all of them shopping like I did last week and I could get on with all the cleaning and washing my own. It's a possibility. Hmm. I shall have a chat with them all about it. Um, and I'm going to do the tail in the same colour as well. And then we'll do the horn before we finish for today. Um, yeah, I think we'll do the leaves in a separate video. Oh, I need to remember, husband had said he was going to redo a picture that he's got on his Kofi. He's got a few free downloads on there. And uh, one of them is a little bit, I don't know what the word is, tricky to do. And uh, it's a colouring, a colouring bookmark. But the board was a bit strange and uh, someone had downloaded it and asked me about it. So he said he was going to redo it. I tried to remind him. 
I can just imagine he's probably asleep. I'm pretty sure he took his meds. Because if he doesn't take his ADHD meds, he's asleep. I'm really sure he took them though. But um, he sometimes just finds certain things exhausting. Like, you know, he had a drive this morning. He was quite nervous about the traffic because we had an appointment and things like that. <clears throat> so, uh, we'll see how he is. Whether he's awake when I finish this. I feel like I could do with another drink because we were out this morning. I didn't have a... I had to drink with breakfast and then when I got in it was about just 11. So I hadn't had a drink all morning. I had a really quick um, milky coffee so I could slurp it down. And then I had another one with lunch but I still feel really hoarse. <clears throat> I think I have to go and get... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll have to go and get one before I do the next video. Or I might not do the next one right away. I was actually trying to decide what to do next from sort of next series and stuff. And I've got a pile of five books that I figure I'd quite like to do. So uh, that's quite a lot to keep us going. Now for the horn, I thought I might do like a silver. Yeah. Excuse me, yawning away. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking at what I've got. I'm thinking the platinum is probably the best um, one. I'm just going to sharpen it. Platinum. I'm just going to cover the whole thing. And then I'm going to grab a slightly darker colour, just looking what there is, um, Typhoon Grey. Is that it? Yeah. I'm just going to sharpen it, it's very blunt. And I'm just going to run a little bit along the edge of each of the horns. give a slight sort of 3D look. And the same on this side. There we go. Let's have a little look at that. Hmm. I think that the iris purple on the horses could be gone over again. Um, it's still quite pale. But I think... Do I want to do that? I'm not sure. Just a few areas that are quite... Maybe I'll just tidy it up. I'm just thinking this looks a bit light here. And here it's a little bit scruffy. Sometimes it's quite difficult for me to see all the pencil lines and things. Anyway, depends on the light. It doesn't really matter that much. Now something I find with the um, uh, metallic pencils is the more layers you put on the more shiny it is. Um, you can see there is a bit of a shine there when I tip it to the light. It's not hugely so, but I think that colour combination looks quite cute anyway, so I don't really mind that it isn't um, really, really shiny. So I am going to leave that there. Um, we'll come back and do all the leaves. Oh, I haven't done the tail. We'll just do that before I go. Um, yeah, we've got, as I said, of course I purposely forgot this because I've got to explain what I'm going to do next time. I'm going to do all the leaves. Um, I haven't chosen the colours yet. They won't all be the same. I might do the same sort of base colour and then use a selection of different colours on top. It will be symmetrical. Um, I used to, if I was doing a symmetrical picture, just do half and let you do the other half. But I might just, I'll probably just do it all and chatter away. No, well, some of you prefer that anyway. Right, I'm definitely going to go this time. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a really super day and happy colouring.